Morning folks. Dave Soap is brought to us from Razor Rock. This one here is called P160. Sent on this one here is Bitter Almond. <laughs> when I got my uh, particular tub of uh, Bitter Almond P160, it came with a lid on the inside. And that's what it looks like there. Sink comes just right on out of the container. Uh, oh, it's a rev. I wouldn't say strong, but maybe I'm medium on the scent strength. Leaning up towards the strong. It's not quite there yet, but it's definitely a medium scent just coming right off the puck. And uh, off camera, I'll be using the uh, uh, P160 uh, aftershave balm. And I've got it whipped up here in the bowl with a Yaki brush, a 24 millimeter synthetic knot. And uh, let's see here if I get it turned around. There we go. That's what the brush looks like. It might remind you of a, uh, there's the bowl there. This particular uh, handle might remind you if you're old enough to remember there were some uh, glasses or plastic ones, I should say, that were shaped and colored similar to that there. Makes it kind of a unique thing for me. Those that are old enough to remember those kind of plastic cups. Anyway, uh, Shaver, I got this, I uh, got the link down below. They're sold out there. As a matter of fact, they were sold out shortly after I got this one here. Uh, this is a, above the tie. This is a single edge. Takes a Feather Artist Club style blades. This one here is a Chic Pro line that's in there. This will be on the second use from this particular blade. You can kind of tell there's no overhang here. And uh, this was uh, purchased off of the Scratch and Dance Cell. And if you haven't been to Above the Tie and looked at their Scratch and Dent slash uh, uh, Ugly, <laughs> if you will, uh, might want to take a look at it. I think they still have some Windsor Pro uh, aluminum uh, razors, on the, especially on the Ugly side of things, and as well as uh, blue, Eclipse of Blue. Uh, so in other words, when you go to Above the uh, Tie website, uh, what we that called the hamburger button. It's three lines up on the left hand corner of the um, of the uh, menu there. Anyhow, you click on that, you get a list that's dropped down. Go to find our razors or something like that. Click there, and anyhow, you go down to w where it says returns and click there. So when the all this stuff populates the screen, you'll see scratch and dent, and uh, also you'll find one listing for ugly. And if you click on the ugly, they have a whole list of whatever they got that's ugly. So in other words, uh, the Windsor Pro, for instance, uh, the one that I picked up for under 20 bucks, uh, it, uh, on the handle, uh, the knurling wasn't all the way uh, up on the handle. Uh, that's just an example of what you might get. And uh, it's just something, you know, that you might be interested in checking out. You get above the tie razor. I think the Clips of Blue was under 20 bucks also. And, of course, you can get some various uh, base plates and whatnot at different prices. But it's um, it might be worth checking out. Uh, Tim Shaves, uh, he, he uh, did an unboxing uh, talking about what he picked up from there that was, uh, I guess you might say, on sale. Uh, scratch and Dent, there's plenty of things to choose from there. I did notice that on the Scratch and Dent, besides the... Uh, uh, the single edge there that the Windsor Pro, uh, I think stainless steel polished, is uh, sold out also. So you can imagine some of those, the people that get those emails from uh, above the tie and they probably hopped right on the, you know, the first chance they got to get in there and uh, pick up some uh, inexpensive shavers. And, and like I said, to pick up uh, above the tie, <coughs> excuse me, razor for under 20 bucks, <laughs> it, it, I, it's you know in other words it just it's too much for a lot of people to resist once they find out that it's there uh like i said there's also some base plates that you know that you might be interested in especially if you go and order one of those uh razors because you can swap them in and out stainless steel uh base plate with an aluminum base plate and with a uh, one of those uh razors that you pick up off of this Scratch and den or the ugly. Now the ugly, you can read in there. I'll have a link down below. Um, the ugly is, uh, they tell you what all uh, could be wrong with the razor. 
the one that I got, like I say, the handle, uh, the knurling uh, is kind of funny. It does make you wonder how it happens. The knurling on the handle was kind of sort of there, and then at a point it just kind of disappears. And in other words, it, the knurling may not be up to snuff, the coating, uh, whatever it might be, may not uh, be quite right. In other words, for instance, you might find a, a, a little bubble here or there that popped or whatever the case might be. At least that's what it looked like. In other words, it's just a little pin, just a little spot here or there, or whatever the case might be. There's a number of different things that uh, might be wrong with the razor. And uh, like, I, like you said, it, it, there's nothing there to interfere with uh, getting a fantastic shave. And the scratch and dent ones that I, and the ugly, the ones that I picked up, were, they look I mean, you, you can, the ugly ones are, uh, you can really tell what's wrong with them. It, you don't have to look too terribly hard. But the scratch and dent ones, you really have to look whether, you know, what the flaws are. And the one handle I picked up in particular, uh, stainless steel handle, you can see this actually had dents in it. <laughs> scratch and dent, yeah, it actually had dents in it. So, um, quite happy with it though. It does not affect the shave none whatsoever. This was my, uh, in case you might say I was quite happy to get this. I am still, well this is the uh, second shave with this particular razor. Shaved with yesterday, I couldn't wait. <laughs> and uh, I was, I, I've got it, you know, of course you don't got other handles from above the tie. I am just not real sure about the bamboo handle. Uh, I had one a while back, uh, Italian Barber, Razor Rock, German 37, and when I ordered that slant, uh, it had a bamboo handle and didn't like it. And so I wasn't too sure that I would even like this one. The two handles are similar, of course, you know, being bamboo shaped, but they are different. The difference in between the two is uh, right up here. These are a little thicker, I guess you might say, at, coming up to that point, and it's, yeah, I guess you might say, it's, uh, not really struggling to adjust, I'm seem to be doing okay with it, but I thought I'd give the handle a try, I, I say the first time I tried it, I wasn't liking it at all, so I swapped out the handle for something different. Got a pretty nice handle now on the Jimmer 37. Oh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It does have the stamp here and here. In other words, it says above the tie set, uh, made in USA. And um, there are, I think there's another plate that you might be able to find uh, on the scratch and dent side of things, if I remember right. There's a lot of stuff there that, that's available on scratch and dent slash ugly. So if you're not looking for a pristine shaver, but one that give you fantastic shaves as if it looked pristine, uh, you might want to go look at the Scratch and Dent and the Ugly. Especially the Ugly, I mean to get a, a, a full razor for under 20 bucks, above the tie razor. Uh, it's, I don't know how you can resist. <laughs> I think one of them's like $18 and change, and the other one's, was it 17 and change? Something like that, maybe 16 it was pretty inexpensive. I mean, just to have uh, one of those just to take on a, you know, uh, as a travel razor. Uh, in other words, you're not out a whole lot of money if it comes up missing. Uh, that's, a, that's a fantastic buy. Have one of those to take with you on a trip or something like that. Uh, they're, in my opinion, they're nice razors. Give great shaves. This here... So far, it feels like it's a very efficient razor. In other words, it does have a little bit of a blade feel. It is present. Uh, this would be my second shave with a single edge from above the tie. Kind of look at the slant. I'm st still on the fence on that one. It may be a good long moment before I decide one way or the other. Whether I'm going to get a slant or not. I haven't really decided just yet, in other words. So 
sometimes when you get some of these razors and you're quite happy with the uh, the shave uh, for me sometimes uh, in other words the slant may or may not spark my interest in this particular case uh, not so much I am interested though later on in the week uh, using different blades see how the shave feel is but I know with this shape pro line that blade is definitely present shave feel it is there <laughs> definitely has my attention I think this one here was just under 58 bucks. I think it was 57 and change, 57, 60. I looked at a lot of that stuff. And, uh, because it sure is, a, how you say, appealing. It's just hard for me to get past the fact that you can get a bug tie razor for under 20 bucks. It's like I think most people would at least give it a try at that price. Uh, Clips of Blue, I did pick up one of those on the ugly side, and the one thing that I, the one that I got, what I noticed about it is uh, the blue coloration uh, is not up to snuff. Now I have the, I guess you might say the uh, grade A, if you will, Clips of Blue, so I knew what to compare it to. Uh, this one here, I have, I don't, this is my only one, so it looks just fine. Scratch and dent. I think there was a spot or two, just tiny little spots. In other words, I doubt that it even it would even show up on the camera on the cap here. Uh, but past that, I really couldn't tell uh, what the issues was was with this one. But I think it was with the cap the way I when I was looking at it. In other words, sometimes on the scratch and dent, you have to be looking at it really close and and you say be particular about what you're looking at. So you're still getting an outstanding product, in my opinion, on the scratch and dent. But on the ugly, it'll be really obvious what's going on <laughs> with the razor. And like I say, the clips of blue, the blue is uh, not quite right. Still great looking razor. Look fantastic. But I, I knew I had, a, a, I guess you might say, the grade A to compare right next to it. But as soon as I opened the box, I could tell the difference. But it still looked good. Can't complain a bit. I mean, it looked good to me. It just was a, it was a kind of a darker blue. In other words, it didn't meet their expectations when it was done, so. Which I understand. But for most people, that's not going to be that big of a deal. It's still blue. It wasn't like I had part of it that was blue and another part was just barely blue or anything quite like that. Not that that's going to affect the shade, but just to look at it, it, it looks fine. So if you didn't have, I guess you might say, the grade A to compare it to or knew how bright the blue was or anything of the sort, you may not even really notice what was wrong with it. Not quite like the uh, Windsor <laughs> Pro, <laughs> that one there, <laughs> that knurling. Yeah, even the knurling where there is knurling is, uh, how do you say, not very aggressive. It's pretty smooth. It, it was almost, in other words, not even noticeable on the knurling when you could feel it. So it's a very smooth knurling. Of course, uh, there might be a number of folks that like it like that. Maybe don't particularly care for the, I guess you might say, the one that's more aggressive. Where you can really feel your fingers, you know, gripping on the handle because of the knurling. For those that haven't, uh, if you don't like almond, this this soap is not going to be for you. It has been around, oh, I'm not sure exactly how long it's been around, but I think it's been around a moment. Um, I do know that if you, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if you go to their drop-down box at Italian Barber, You'll see a listing for uh, Razor Rock. In other words, if you're looking at name brands, but you'll also notice one, uh, a listing for uh, P160. That that listing for P160 
is not for the like four or five ounce container. It's not for that one. It's for I think a full kilo. And I think it was the last of what they made uh, of that size. And it's not cheap. <laughs> I think it's $2,500 if I remember right. It's, it's not cheap. So uh, that's the reason why it's listed the way that it is because it's a big old chunk of soap. You can get cello, I think a kilo of cello, but I think it's closer to 32 or $33. But like I say, that P160, I think that particular base, uh, soap base or whatever the case might be, I think that was the last that they made of that with that soap base, if I remember right. I think that's the story behind it. But for me, I have a... I don't have a problem with the bitter almond. It works with my nose being the way that it is. To me, I think this is pretty decent stuff, especially for the price. I think the going price right now is like $6.99, and I think it's at five ounces, so that's that's a pretty decent buy. It's got tallow in it. Um, not that I could really tell. It I get a great shave with it. What can I say? All right, some witch hazel. Still, still nurse in this container. I don't have a whole lot left in the unscented uh, methylated sternal witch hazel here, but it's I still got some here. And to me, and it, this is just for you know for me something I I I like that it wouldn't hurt to see one where you have a an almond scented soap that uh, that has menthol added to it. To me, I think those two would work well together, especially for my nose, which is not working too bad. I mean, it's, as soon as I open the, up the container, I can smell the almond. Sometimes I can, and there's other days, not so much. It's kind of sad. I'll go ahead and say, go right ahead and wrap this up. Um, it's, this uh, aftershave balm comes in a pump container, and if you're wondering what it looks like, there it is. It's fairly thick and it is an off-white color, but I'm going to go ahead and work this into my face. Take my time working in really good. Anyway, I had a fantastic shave. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shaves to you.